What's up, YouTube? Here's a, another knife and another video. So many in one week. Goodness gracious. I know. It's, it's strange. Um, this is probably going to be the closest thing that I would ever make to like a quote-unquote normal-looking sort of knife. Um, pretty, pretty simple. Not a lot of uh, carving. Well, basically, there's no jimping um, on this frame, which is weird for me. It felt awkward to not do it. I resisted as my customer requested. Um, this is a backspacer construction knife, and the backspacer is actually M390, and it is hardened, and that is, in fact, a glass breaker tip. And it works pretty well, let me tell you. It breaks things, for sure. Um, also, this has an M390 blade, um, sort of a semi-mirror finished flats, and uh, what is that called? A satin finished blade. Oh boy. Um, I'm actually kind of liking this uh, this blade profile. I think that's a, a very nice drop point. It does present a ton of belly. Um, and the way I grind knives is that belly is always the uh, the thinnest, sharpest part of the knife. So the tip is actually a little thick and reinforced, so you can snap shit and not uh, be worried about snapping it off. But then the uh, the belly section in here is, uh, is the thinnest and, and definitely the sharpest part of this knife. Uh, so you could uh, potentially, you know, skin an animal with this and have no problem if you so chose. Um, titanium frame lock. Uh, they're anodized and be blasted. And these are micarta on lace. Not something I normally do. Okay. Think of the people they want. No titanium clip. Flipper. Unlubricated flipper. <laughs> like uh, usually before I send stuff out, this is the uh, the preliminary uh, assembly. Usually I take them apart and clean everything again and lubricated everything up, and so by the time that they are uh, ready to go out, they fly. Um, I've gone back on this one to a, uh, a thumb stud stop for the blade. A lot of guys do it. It is actually fairly easy to uh, to lay out that way. You don't have to worry about the uh, an internal stopping getting in the way of the uh, flipper trigger. But uh, it's a pretty cool knife. I'm I'm actually uh, I'm actually kind of digging it. Kind of its size and. I think it's a three, maybe a three and a quarter inch blade. I don't know. I I always like say it in a video, and then I have to go in and put it in the description what it actually is because I'm usually wrong. Because um, yeah, I don't actually measure it. But uh, that's cool. I hope my client likes it because I actually have made uh, three of these blades. This would be the third one. Because uh, I was experimenting with a different heat treat, and in my new heat treating oven, and I found out the uh, the nasty hard way that you really have to wrap uh, M390 in foil, otherwise it uh, it will oxidize so badly that it loses a lot of dimension. Didn't know that. Because previously I've been heat treating stuff in open flame. Some people would be like, <gasps> "What? You can do that? Yes, you can do that. In fact." I actually like it because the flame burns all the oxygen out of the forge, so uh, steel doesn't oxidize, which is cool. But uh, yeah, so foil wrap, very nice. And that is uh, a cool knife. See you later, YouTube.